The Lost World is a science fiction novel by British writer Arthur Conan Doyle, published in 1912, concerning an expedition to a plateau in the Amazon basin of South America where prehistoric animals dinosaurs and other extinct creatures still survive. It was originally published serially in the popular Strand magazine and illustrated by New Zealand-born artist Harry Rountree during the months of April to November 1912. The character of Professor Challenger was introduced in this book. The novel also describes a war between indigenous people and a vicious tribe of ape-like creatures. Topic. Plot summary Edward Malone, a young reporter for the Daily Gazette, asks his editor for a dangerous assignment to impress the woman he loves, Gladys, who wishes for a great man capable of brave deeds and actions. His task is to approach the notorious Professor Challenger, who dislikes the popular press intensely and physically assaults intrusive journalists. The subject is to be his recent South American expedition which, surrounded by controversy, guarantees a hostile reaction. As a direct approach would be instantly rebuffed, Malone instead masquerades as an earnest student. On meeting the professor he is startled by his overwhelming intellect, his intimidating physique too, but believes his ruse is succeeding. Seeing through the masquerade, then confirming Malone's scientific knowledge is non-existent, Challenger erupts in anger and forcibly throws him out. Malone earns his respect by refusing to press charges with a policeman who saw his violent ejection into the street. Challenger ushers him back inside and, extracting promises of confidentiality, eventually reveals he has discovered living dinosaurs in South America, following up an expedition by a now-deceased previous American explorer named Maple White. At a tumultuous public meeting in which Challenger experiences further ridicule, most notably from a professional rival, Professor Summerlee, Malone volunteers for an expedition to verify the discoveries. His companions are to be Professor Summerlee, and Lord John Roxton, an adventurer who helped end slavery on the Amazon, the notches on his rifle showing how many slavers he killed doing so. Running the gauntlet of hostile tribes, the expedition finally reaches the Lost World with the aid of Indian guides, who are superstitiously scared of the area. Summerlee retains his skepticism, although being delighted at making other scientific discoveries in the field of botany and entomology, even a glimpse of a pterodactyl at a distance fails to convince him, believing it is some breed of stork the sharper-eyed Roxton is inclined to agree it is not a stork but has no clue what it really is, until a nighttime encounter when it flies down and is seen by all at close range, as it steals the companion's dinner. After this, Summerlee apologizes to Challenger. The cliffs to the plateau itself proved to be apparently unscalable, but an adjacent pinnacle turns out to be climbable, and moreover, has a tall tree which can be cut down and used as a bridge, which allows the four explorers to cross to the plateau. However, they are almost immediately trapped on it, thanks to the treachery of one of their luggage porters, Gomez, who, as it turns out, is a former slaver whose brother had previously been killed by Roxton during his anti-slavery activities. Gomez takes his revenge by dropping the tree off the cliff, stranding the explorers on the plateau. Gomez himself is subsequently killed by another porter, a Negro ex-slave named Zambo, who remains loyal to the party, but the latter is unable to do much more to help, other than send some of the company's supplies over by rope. Whilst investigating the wonders of the Lost World, discovering many plants and creatures thought to be extinct, they narrowly escape an attack from pterodactyls. Although barely escaping with their lives, Roxton takes great interest in nearby blue clay deposits. At night a ferocious dinosaur is about to break through the thorn bushes surrounding their camp. Roxton averts disaster by bravely dashing at it, thrusting a blazing torch at its face to scare it away. Later, all except Malone are captured by a race of ape men. Whilst in captivity they discover that a tribe of natives, with whom the ape men are at war, inhabit the other side of the plateau. Roxton escapes and together with Malone mounts a rescue, preventing many unpleasant deaths, including a young native who is a prince of his tribe. 
The rescued natives take the party to their village, then with the help of their firepower return to defeat the ape men. After witnessing the power of their guns, the tribe wish to keep them on the plateau but, helped by the young prince they saved, they eventually discover a tunnel leading back to the outside world. During their time with the tribe, Roxton plans how to capture a pterodactyl chick, and succeeds in doing so. Upon return to England, despite full reports from Malone many detractors continue to dismiss the expedition's account, much as they had Challenger's original story, although Summerlee, having been on the expedition, has now switched sides and is supporting Challenger. Anticipating this, at a public meeting Challenger produces the young pterodactyl as proof, transfixing the audience and leaving them in no doubt of the truth. The explorers are instantly fated as heroes, and on a wave of adulation find themselves carried shoulder high from the hall by cheering crowds. The pterodactyl, in the confusion, makes its escape and is witnessed several times at different locations around London, causing consternation wherever it goes, but is last seen heading off to the southwest in the probable direction of its home. At a private celebratory dinner, Roxton reveals to the others that the blue clay contained diamonds, he had been tipped off to the possibility, by the recollection of a similar feature in South Africa, and that he managed to extract about £200,000 worth, which is to be split between them. Challenger plans to open a private museum with his share, Summerlee plans to retire and categorize fossils. Malone returns to his love, Gladys, hoping she will recognize his achievements. Instead, he finds she has now selfishly changed her mind and married a very ordinary man instead, an insignificant clerk. Astonished at this turn of events, and with nothing to keep him in London, he decides to accompany Roxton back to the Lost World. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Professor George Edward Challenger, a zoologist Edward D. Malone, a reporter McArdle, Edward's editor Professor Summerlee, a scientist Lord John Roxton, an adventurer Gomez, brother to a slave master Roxton killed Manuel, Gomez's friend Zambo, South American black guide Gladys Hungerton, Edward Malone's selfish love interest Jesse Challenger, Challenger's wife Maple White, a deceased explorer who discovered the Lost World The Akala Indians, the natives of the Lost World Ape Men, vicious ape-like creatures who live on the Lost World Topic. Animals featured Topic: Non-avian dinosaurs. Iguanodon, Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, Megalosaurus. Topic: Other extinct reptiles. Pterodactylus, Plesiosaurus, Ichthyosaurus. Dimorphodon Topic Other prehistoric animals included Topic Mammals Megaloceros Glyptodon Dryophythicus Pithecanthropus Toxodon Topic Birds Thorosracos Topic Other creatures on the plateau Ixodes maloney, a species of blood sucking tick, named after Malone, the first to be bitten by one. Moths, some large specimens were seen flying around the expedition's campfire. A 50-foot-long black snake was seen by the expedition. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Creatures outside the plateau. Jararaka Agouti Taper Jaguar Topic references In other works the idea of prehistoric animals surviving into the present day was not new, but had already been introduced by Jules Verne in Journey to the Center of the Earth. In that book, published in 1864, the creatures live under the earth in and around a subterranean sea. In 1915, the Russian scientist Vladimir Obrushev produced his own version of the «Lost World» theme in the novel Plutonia, which places the dinosaurs and other Jurassic species in a fictional space inside the hollow Earth connected to the surface via an opening in the Russian far north. In 1916, Edgar Rice Burroughs published The Land That Time Forgot, his version of the Lost World where lost submariners from a German U-boat discovered their own lost world of dinosaurs and ape men in Antarctica. Two other books in the series followed. Author Greg Baer set his 1998 novel Dinosaur Summer in Conan Doyle's Lost World. A 1994 release for the Forgotten Futures role-playing game was based on and includes the full text of the Professor Challenger novels and stories. Conan Doyle's title was reused by Michael Crichton in his 1995 novel The Lost World, a sequel to Jurassic Park. Its film adaptation, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, followed suit. Both the book and its movie adaptation share a somewhat similar setting with the Conan Doyle story, involving a journey to an isolated area filled with living dinosaurs. At least two similarly named TV shows, Land of the Lost and Lost, nod to this source material, although the latter draws more from Doyle's short story, The Lost Special. At least two of the characters in Michael Crichton's novel The Lost World mention a paleontologist called John Roxton. However, Crichton's Roxton, who is never seen, is something of an idiot, wrongly identifying one dinosaur and publishing a report stating that the brain case of Tyrannosaurus rex is the same as that of a frog and thus possesses a visual system attuned strictly to movement. In the Valiant Comics series, Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, Turok meets Professor Darwin Challenger, a descendant of Professor George Edward Challenger, who accompanies him during the several adventures. Darwin bears strong resemblance to his ancestor in both character and appearance. He is seen to be in possession of a dimorphodon specimen shot by his grandfather and mentions that Maple White Land had since been destroyed in a cataclysmic event prior to the 1990s. One of the Neopets plots, Journey to the Lost Isle, is based on this book, with Roxton A. Colchester III, Hugo and Lillian Fairweather, and Werther as the adventurers, with Captain Rourke and Scrap as the guides. The book was adapted in Czech comics by Vlastislav Toman, Jerry Veskerner, 1970, 24 pages, followed by a sequel The Second Expedition, Vlastislav Toman, František Koblik, 26 pages, reprinted together in Velka Niha Komiksu, ISBN 80-7257-658-5. The 2002 animated adventure Dinosaur Island is an attempt to blend the original story with the popular reality series format, and was written by John Loy, writer of similar productions such as The Land Before Time. Raphael Chandler's 2016 supplement The World of the Lost for the OSR Lamentations of the Flame Princess Weird Fantasy role-playing game system references the Doyle book not only in its title, but also in the its contents and setting themes, including prehistoric creatures on a plateau and a savage war forming the setting's background. Topic. References to actual history, geography and current science The characters of Ed Malone and Lord John Roxton were modelled, respectively, on the journalist E. D. Morell and the diplomat Roger Casement, leaders of the Congo Free State Reform Campaign the Congo Reform Association, which Conan Doyle supported. The setting for The Lost World is believed to have been inspired by reports of Doyle's good friend Percy Harrison Fawcett's expedition to Huanchaca Plateau in Noel Kempf Mercado National Park, Bolivia. 
Fawcett organized several expeditions to delimit the border between Bolivia and Brazil, an area of potential conflict between both countries. Doyle took part in the lecture of Fawcett in Royal Geographical Society on 13 February 1911 and was impressed by the tale about the remote province of Corpalacan, present-day Huanchaca Plateau in Bolivia, a dangerous area with impenetrable forests, where Fawcett saw monstrous tracks of unknown origin. Fawcett wrote in his posthumously published memoirs. Monsters from the dawn of man's existence might still roam these heights unchallenged, imprisoned and protected by unscalable cliffs. So thought Conan Doyle when later in London I spoke of these hills and showed photographs of them. He mentioned an idea for a novel on Central South America and asked for information, which I told him I should be glad to supply. The fruit of it was his Lost World in 1912, appearing as a serial in the Strand magazine Sick, and subsequently in the form of a book that achieved widespread popularity. Additionally, a 1996 science fiction studies review of an annotated edition of the novel suggested that another inspiration for the story may have been the 1890s contested political history of the Pacaraima Mountains plateaus, and Mount Roraima in particular. The dinosaur that attacks the camp during the night is vividly described in the deep shadow of the tree a crouching form full of savage vigor and menace. Not higher than a horse, but the dim outline suggested vast bulk and strength. Identified as an Allosaurus, in real life it would have been more fearsome still, though the book also allowed the possibility of it being Megalosaurus or a juvenile Allosaurus, which would be closer to the description. The novel also details a brief encounter with a giant snake, estimated by Challenger to have been over 50 feet long. Though not based on any known snake at the time, its inclusion likely came from reports by Fawcett. In 1907, Fawcett claimed to have witnessed and killed a giant anaconda of a similar size, though his report was unverified. However, the recent discovery of Titanoboa, which could easily fit the description given in the novel, indicates snakes of gargantuan size did indeed exist in prehistoric eras. Following the stereotypes of the time in which the book was written, the dinosaurs are described often as extremely stupid, for example, at some point an iguanodon pulls down the tree in which it is feeding, being injured and frightened in the process. This idea is generally omitted in the modern film versions. <laughs> <laughs> film, television and radio adaptations Topic. Film The Lost World 1925, film Wallace Beery as Professor Challenger Lewis Stone as Lord John Roxton Lloyd Hughes as Edward Malone Bessie Love as Paula White additional character Arthur Hoyt as Professor Summerley Alma Bennett as Gladys Hungerford Bull Montana as Gomez, Jules Cowes as Zambo, The Lost World, 1960, film, Claude Rains as Professor Challenger, Michael Rennie as Lord John Roxton, David Hedison as Edward Malone, Jill St. John as Jennifer Holmes, additional character, Richard Hayden as Professor Summerley, Fernando Lamas as Manuel Gomez. Ray Strickland as David Holmes, additional character. Jay Novello as Costa, additional character. The Lost World, 1992, film. John Rhys Davies as Professor Challenger. Eric McCormick as Edward Malone. Tamara Gorski as Jenny Nielsen, additional character. David Warner as Professor Summerley. Darren Peter Mercer as Jim, additional character. Nathania Stanford as Malou, additional character. Return to the Lost World, 1992, sequel film. John Rhys Davies as Professor Challenger. 
Eric McCormick as Edward Malone, Tamara Gorski as Jenny Nielsen, additional character, David Warner as Professor Summerley, Darren Peter Mercer as Jim, additional character, Nathania Stanford as Malou, additional character. The Lost World 1998, film Patrick Bergen as Professor Challenger David Nerman as Lord John Roxton Julian Casey as Arthur Malone originally Edward Malone Jane Heitmeyer as Amanda White additional character Michael Sinelnikov as Professor Leo Summerley originally simply Professor Summerley Gregory Ann Minot Payor as D. Jenner additional character the Lost World 2001, television film Bob Hoskins as Professor Challenger Tom Ward as Lord John Philip Roxton originally simply Lord John Roxton Matthew Rhys as Edward Malone Elaine Cassidy as Agnes Clooney additional character James Fox as Professor Leo Summerley originally simply Professor Summerley Peter Falk as Reverend Theo Kerr additional character King of the Lost World 2005 Bruce Boxleitner as Lieutenant Challenger originally Professor Challenger Rhett Giles as Lord John Roxton Jeff Denton as Edward Malone Sarah Leaving as Rita Summerley a female substitute for Professor Summerley in the original novel Topic. Television Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World 1999-2002, TV series Peter McCauley as Professor Challenger William Snow as Lord John Richard Roxton originally simply Lord John Roxton David Orth as Edward Ned Malone originally Edward Malone Rachel Blakely as Marguerite Crux, additional character. Jennifer O'Dell as Veronica Layton, additional character. Michael Sinelnikov as Professor Arthur Summerley, originally simply Professor Summerley. The Lost World, 2002, Canadian French animated series. Topic: Audio. The Lost World 1944 Radio John Dixon Carr as narrator all characters The Lost World 1949 BBC light program radio serial with Abraham Sofer, Ivor Barnard, Lewis Stringer, Cyril Gardiner Dinosaurs 1966 an audio dramatic version of The Lost World adapted and directed by Ronald Liss and recorded by permission of the estate of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, MGM, Leo the Lion Records C, CH1016 Basil Rathbone as Professor Challenger Leo Marion as Dr. Summerley Peter Fernandez as Edward Malone The character of Lord John Roxton was not included in this adaptation. The Lost World 1975 BBC Radio 4 classic serial Francis de Wolf as Professor Challenger Gerald Harper as Lord John Roxton Kevin McHugh as Edward Malone Carlton Hobbs as Professor Summerley The Lost World 1997, Radio Linus Roach as Narrator Johnny Briggs as Professor Challenger, Gomez, Voice Clive Hornby as Lord John Roxton Kevin McKidd as Edward Malone Kenneth Branagh as Professor Summerley Kelly MacDonald as Susan Windsor additional character Ian McKellen as Professor O'Parker additional character Lucy Brown as Gladys Hungerford Rudolph Walker as Zambo The Lost World 2011 BBC Radio 4 classic serial David Robb as Professor Challenger Jamie Glover as Lord John Roxton Jonathan Forbes as Edward Malone Jasmine Hyde as Dr. Diana Summerley a female substitute for Professor Summerley in the original novel Jane Whittenshaw as Edith Challenger 
Nyasha hatendi as maple white Vinicius salus as querios Topic. See also Lost World 1912 in science fiction